So I've decided I want to try something using Google Fonts and do something a little bit different than what I've done before. Um, and I've decided to record this video on the fly. So literally what I'm doing here is completely unscripted. I don't know what the outcome of this will be, but you know, if successful, you're probably watching it. Um, my hope is to uh, take this project here that you see on my screen um, with, you know, just Arial font. And uh, my, my actual hope is that, um, actually, I'm going to change my mind here. Here's what I'm hoping to accomplish. I'm going to have a row of icons across the bottom. And uh, maybe what I'll do in this case here is just sort of come up with a uh, generic slide here. In fact, you know what, I'm going to get rid of this top fluid box here so that I just really have a place for a title, a place for some content, and I think I'll just duplicate this here and move this down here. And uh, so here's my thought. I'm going to create an e-learning template or an e-learning course, however you want to view it, that includes, um, you know, a title. And what I want to use is I want to use uh, Google's Open Sans font, which I don't presently have installed on my system. At least I don't think I do. Let's double check. Um, Okay, so I do have Open Sans, but I want to use the Google version. I don't want to use the Typekit version. So let me go to my Typekit account and uh, make sure that that's released. Uh, because, of course, the, the disadvantage of using your Typekit or Adobe Fonts account um, is that uh, uh, you're going to... Um, You're going to be using up one of the fonts that's available to you. So these are, I think, uh, click on my fonts. Let's just, they've changed the website a little bit, so I'm not used to where everything is. So let's go down to all the open sans, which again, I should be able to. Oh, it's not here. Okay, so I know I use Relation in one of my projects. I know I use Myriad in Photoshop. Uh, I don't use this. I'm going to unselect that. Roboto Slab. I'm going to keep Roboto and Roboto Slab. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Sherrick Sans I use. Open Sans. There it is there. Let's get rid of that. And of course, Open Sans is one of those fonts that has so many variants that, uh, yeah, and I like to use Orbitron, but uh, every time I try to use it, it doesn't let me. So, so I think that's good. Let's go back to, to this project here. Now, I'm just going to save this, save as to my desktop here. Um, we'll just call this Google Fonts. <clears throat> okay. So I think I've determined that, let's just turn word wrap on here, that this is the code that I'm going to need because there are three fonts that I wish to use. I wish to use the Material Icons font, which is a little bit more cumbersome to add. But I think if all I do is add family equals material plus icons, it should work. Uh, open Sans Condensed for, uh, for the body of all this text. And Open Sans Regular uh, for the titles. And so this is what I need to add. Now, I can do this one of two ways. I can simply take this line of code and go into um, my uh, Windows Explorer. 
and specifically we need to go to uh, let's just go to program files uh, Adobe Adobe Captivate 2019 I think this is the best way to do it um, and we're looking for a folder called HTML and there's my default index.html file I'm going to open this with notepad now what you can do is just in the header let's just open up that other file here and I'm going to copy this here and I'm going to place this in the header of just my default index.html folder and um, while I'm here this is not related to this project but while I'm here actually no I'll save that for another time I was going to do something else that I usually do to customize this. So anyway, this is fine. I'm going to save this as its own self, but to my desktop, where it'll be easier to save than trying to resave to this folder here. I'm going to close this down. I don't need this anymore, so I can close that down. And I'm just going to, let's minimize Captivate, minimize the browser here. And... So we have our index.h, the custom index.html file here. I'm going to drag this into this folder here and therefore replace the default index.html. Now because this is a system folder, it's asking for me to provide administrator permissions, which I'm okay with. I'll hit continue and now it will replace that. So any e-learning course that I publish with Captivate 2019 will include that extra line of code in the header of the index.html file, letting the e-learning course know where to find those particular web fonts. Normally it would just go to Typekit or it would rely on the system fonts that are installed on most devices, uh, like WebSafe fonts like Arial Times New Roman. But in this case, I'm saying, listen, I'm gonna use some special Google fonts and the three of them, of course, are the two open sans types plus that material design font, which is what's going to be used for the iconography in the navigation controls. So um, I don't need this open any longer here. Uh, let's first of all go back to the uh, various websites here. So first of all, I need to download um the appropriate fonts here so let's uh, i'm on google fonts i'll just go to the main page here and open sans because the missing element of course is that uh let's just clear all this out okay so i want open sans and open sans condensed so these will be my titles and these will be the body of the text so I'm going to click plus and plus. And if I remember how to use this correctly, I can now download these selections and this will open up a zip file. I'll just place this on my desktop for now. And the other thing that I will need, and this is for some reason trickier to find, Let's just close out some of these extra browsers that I have here. You can't get material design just by searching for, I've discovered that you can't get material design just by searching for material design on Google fonts. However, their, their web server for the fonts or their font server will deliver material design. But you still need to have, just like with those other fonts I've already downloaded, you still need to have a local copy of that font installed so that you can design, right? So in this case here, 
Um, I've gone to the Google Design website, which is https colon slash slash design dot Google slash resources. And I'm going to click on the icons link here. And so here are some examples of the material design icons. Uh, material design originally started off as sort of the design language of the Android operating system. But in a web situation, you certainly can use it, um, you know, for, for things like navigation controls and things like that. And that's my hope. We'll see. So I'm going to go to the developer guide here. And let's go with getting the icons. So the icons themselves are available uh, for free under the Apache license version 2.0, which may be why you can't. Um, so there's a, it's available in a different form. And I think maybe... Um, I think what we need here, so there's where I got the original code. And we need the font itself. So there's, here's where I think you can download the font and I guess a true type font will work. Um, so I'm going to download that. And I'll put that on my desktop as well. So um, the material icons font is just a regular true type font. So I can right click on that on my desktop and click on install and that will install material icons. Uh, this other stuff, I will have to extract it first because it's in a zip folder, but that's not a problem. So let's go in here. Now, I could choose to only install the one that I need, but there's no disadvantage and they're relatively small. So I'm going to install all of these to my regular fonts folder in Windows. I like Open Sans. It's a great alternative to Arial or Helvetica or what have you. Uh, and of course here we want the, con the con Open Sans condensed for the body here. So I think we have our fonts installed. Now let's go back to our Adobe Captivate project and let's change a few things. So let's first of all take this title and rather than using Arial, we're going to go to, uh, now the, you have to use the system fonts. Don't use anything that might show up in your Typekit fonts. Instead, we're gonna go down here and we're going to look for Open Sans. There we go. And in this case here, uh, because they're a subset of one another, you need to make the individual uh, choices for them uh, from here. So I'm going to use regular font for my titles. And again, make sure I'm not choosing the Typekit version. I want oh, I went too far. There um, there it is. And here we'll use condensed and I'm going to make this font smaller, maybe not that small. 
Mm. Yeah, about there is fine. And this is probably a little too large. Something like that is fine. And I'm just going to put some dummy text in. So we're just going to go to lorem ipsum and generate some uh, this this is fine here I'm just getting some dummy text that I can use for this here and uh, there we go and uh, we'll just uh, set that up as a proper text body we'll put some margins on this as well there we go so that's nice and lovely and a little less boring than using a font that everyone's seen every day for like a, a hundred years now for the navigational elements um, let's first of all check to make sure that the material design icon is installed the easiest way to do that is with the character map so I'm going to open up the character map and I always wish that this was larger I think Microsoft should update this to be a larger map uh, simply because of course uh, computers are no longer running little 800 by 600 screens here so let's find material design hopefully it's there material icons there it is there so you can literally copy and paste from this uh, layout here any icons you wish to use so I'm going to find some icons that would be appropriate for let's say a back and next and maybe a submit button um, let's see what our options are here I want something that really looks good I'm a big believer in less is more I don't need a ridiculous icon to represent say a simple back or next these are good here so I'm going to choose that and I'm going to paste that into here and I'm going to say yes to formatting because I wanted to come in with material design and uh, we're going to bump that font up to I don't know 48 make sure the icon itself is centered and um, I won't do it now but I'm going to get rid of that background there actually while I'm here let's do this let's first of all set these up to be used as a button and I'm going to create uh, a new style for these so let's select just this one here let's go into state view and create the appropriate rollover and down states because it's inheriting what it's going to do from the regular smart shape design so I'm going to actually just change this right now we're going to make it completely transparent zero for stroke the rollover let's change the color for the rollover let's change it to maybe a light purple or something like that or maybe we start with let's start with uh, let's keep this grayscale let's start with a very almost transparent icon the rollover will change to a color let's say um, and be a little bit darker and then the down state will be um, dark blue or something like very subtle not not a huge thing here I'm gonna exit that state and I'm gonna create a new style so create new style we're gonna call this material icons And what I'll do is select each of these and make sure that that same style is already selected on those items. So now let's go back to the character map 
and I think we'll easily be able to find something that can be our back button. We'll copy that and I will paste it into here. And I'm going to say no because I wanted to take on the new formatting. That looks good. And while we're here, I mean, normally a slide like this wouldn't have these controls, but what I'll do is I'll add some additional icons just so we can see how this works. Um, for a submit button, I usually like to use like a check mark um, as a submit button. So let's see if we can find a submit button. Or something like that. There's a check mark. Let's select that. I'm going to copy that. So this will be a sample of what a submit button would look like. And uh, another common button I like to create is a reset button. And I'll usually use like a recycle logo like this. And we'll pop that in here. And that'll be like if you've changed your mind on a drag and drop or you want to revert a question, uh, you want to clear your answer that you've selected, um, we would use that. So that's kind of cool. And uh, maybe... Um, a hamburger menu which is useful if you've got like a table of contents or something like that and I think I saw one up there yeah there it is there and yeah, we'll just select that and copy it and we'll paste that into here so that looks pretty good we can maybe um, let's just put some space in between them or actually space around so they're not right on the edge there. And uh, so that's pretty good. Now, uh, again, I've got that code in my index.html file. So the truth is, of course, that if I test this on my desktop, all of this will work because these fonts are all installed. The real test is to test this on a mobile device. So I'm just going to open up my iPad. I have some browser windows open here. I'll just get rid of those. And open up the camera app to photo. And then using uh, Adobe Captivate, well, first of all, let's start recording on my iPad here. And uh, let's live preview on devices. And this will display a QR code that will allow me to uh, point my camera at the window there and it will ask me if I wish to view that particular page. So fingers crossed, will this work? Not quite. Close. Not quite. Why is it not working? It's not getting the title. It certainly got the material design icons. So that's a success in its own right. They work too. The, the down state works, which is nice. I didn't program them to do anything, but why am I not getting the fonts there? So let's... Um, hmm... Let's go back to my index.html file and take a closer look at that. I'm going to stop recording on my iPad for a moment. So I think what I'll do, I tried to combine these into one line. I'm actually going to change my mind on that. I'm going to go back to 
uh, Google fonts here and um, and capture the code by itself and let's see if I can just uh, improve on the way this is working out there so there's the and let's just take this portion here and treat them separately. So what I've done, just so it's clear, so I've put the line of text in there for Open Sans and Open Sans cons uh, Condensed separate from the material icons. Hopefully that solves my problem. I'm going to save this to my desktop again. Desktop. Save. Let's close that. And I'm just going to open the file location. Let's minimize this here. and copy that new version in. We'll replace the file. Again, give permission to do this to a system folder. And I think what I should do, because sometimes this might be an issue, I'm going to close this, save the changes to my project. and um, open this file again. Okay. I, I noticed just as I was closing it, I've got this script window here. Yeah, that shouldn't matter because uh, it's not even the same. Um, let's just set this up. No action is fine. All right. So I think I'm ready to try this again. So I'm going to open up my iPad. I'm going to close that original browser down. Open the camera. And um, let's just do another live preview on devices here. And I'll just start recording on my iPad. So let's tilt this up and and let's try opening that in Safari and see if we get there we go. So I have a Google font and I have material design icons all in one e-learning design project. I love it. I've wanted to do this for a while. I'm so happy it works. I love the material design icons. I think this is perfect. And uh, I think, I don't know if I'll edit this down as is to be a tutorial uh, or I'll re-record it, perhaps. Not sure. Um, we'll see. <laughs> but success, I'm so pleased. Thanks guys.